guys in this session we are going to see how we can create a common uh, library where we will have the error handler the res uh, resource configuration connector configuration so why do we need to create this common libraries because uh, we have an alternate solution also this uh, domain concept where we create a domain file and we keep all the configuration and the, uh, all the configuration and error handling part there and then we can use it in our multiple projects so it's like uh, creating a central place where all the configuration will be there and we can use that in multiple projects so the only issue with the uh, domain project is we can't deploy it over the cloud hub ideally we can deploy the cloud hub but we need to have the same mule uh, event mule environment uh, where we are deploying to the uh, deploying the domain project so that uh, the project that we are working on can access the domain project configuration and this uh, some and this create a problem because we can't have each uh, project we can't create environment for each project where we will have the same domain project to overcome from this scenario we can create a common libraries and then we can uh, use it as a plugin or a dependency in our uh, a required project where we want to use the configuration so let me open the anypunt studio we'll, uh, so i have so i have uh, break down the steps in three part the first thing is i will create a mule project and then we'll uh, build the project as a plugin and then you will use the plugin in our actual project so let's start with now we'll create one project here so we'll go to the new mule project let's say give the common configuration and we'll finish it so i have misspelled it so i will call it as a common configuration so here uh, what i can do i can create my configuration for that so let's say i want to have one one global config which will contain all the configuration and the one error handler so let's say global error or i can write it common error handling I'll click on this finish if you want you can delete this one or you can just uh, write your configuration over here so i have created the separate one so i'll go to the global config and here in the global elements i will create the uh, configuration of a connector before doing that i will create one yaml file which will contain a property file which will contain all the details regarding the connector so let me give it config.yaml Okay. Now in the global config, the first thing I will do is I will use the configuration part, configuration, and here, sorry, I will use the configuration properties, and here I will specify the file name that I have created. So I'm performing an interlinking between this property file and the global configuration so that it will not create an error while using the uh, using those value in our connector let me paste it over here okay now here in the config ml uh, let's say i want to specify the http configuration so here host is 0.0.0, .0, .0 and port is 8081 let me save this now go to the global config create one http listener configuration and here i will specify this http dot host and here 
HTTP dot port. Let me perform the test connection part. So if you don't use the configuration properties, it will not pick the value from the YAML file or the property file in your connector. So just taking time. Yeah, so test connection is successful. Now I'll click on this. Okay. Let me copy this part and paste it in the notes. Okay. So here I have created one configuration for the listener connector. I will go to the common error handling part and here I will use error handler. So in the error handler, I will use one on error continue. You can use any one based on your requirement. Here I just want to give mule any. So any kind of error or whatever error we will get while hitting the application, this will come in the existence. Now after this, just use one transform component. And give JSON. Here I'm going to give masses as common error handling. The error section, whatever error we'll get while hitting the API, that part will be fetched error dot description. Once it is saved, okay, I need to use one. Yes. Save it, rename it, error response, control S. So till now I have uh, made configuration in this global config and the common error handling part. We have made some changes. We have this config.yaml. Now what we'll do, we'll go to this project properties. So press add enter here. Now go to here, the project location. Inside the project location, type CMD. And here we'll write MVN clean package install. We'll click on hit button. Oh, sorry, it will not work here now. Before doing this, what we need to do is uh, we'll go to the pom dot file here you need to add two lines the first thing is you will add configuration click on enter and inside the configuration you have to write the classifier so write classifier and inside the classifier you have to specify the mule plugin because we are going to use this uh, configuration or this library file as a plugin in our actual project so you have two options here either you can just uh, create a jar of this and use it in your application i will show you that one also so press ctrl s once you are done go to the cmd write the same command again and press enter Once it is built successful, we can see that uh, see this file, the configuration, uh, this plugin in our .m2 folder. So when you go to .m2 repository, under the repository section, you need to uh, follow this pass com 
under the repository you will go to the com then my company under that you will get to you will see you have application with this name okay once it is done i will close this part and i will create one new mule project let's say i'm creating testing common config and this testing common config what you need to do is first thing you need to add the dependency in your form so what you will do you will come over here copy this part completely up to this and go to this form file under the dependency section one more dependency and paste it over here and the classifier will be mule plugin because we have created the mule plugin so we'll give classifier mule plugin and we can save it once it is saved you would be able to see in your actual project that we have the uh, dependency of this so see we, here we have this common config with this version okay if you click over here you will see the types of file we have so we have this config.xml global config and this common error handling now how we will use this in our in our main file so what i will do i will copy one logger here drag and drop one logger just print hello here save it as of now now go to this global element and here in the section uh, write import so in this import section you need to specify the file name that you have that you want to pick up here so for us we have this file name uh, global config so we'll do import write the file name here global config.xml so we have the same name yep now click on this ok button click on ok now in a similar way we are going to pick the error handling also so create then import click on ok Highlight common error handling dot xml once it is done i will use one listener configuration here so let's say we are using this listener component because we have the listener configuration now here if you see we have this listener configuration part here and it will not allow you to edit you can add uh, your own if you want but here you will get to uh, you will have an option automatically by default this listener configuration so we'll click on this save now in the error handling if you want to use the error handling just click on this and in the reference section one error handling so if i click on this save button i have this common error handling that i have defined in our common library and this listener configuration i have one i have this listener configuration i will test this application so let's say run this application here and Yeah, 
so our application is deployed now so let me hit this application from this postman if i click on this send so i haven't set any response but we are getting 200 okay let me see the console here so in the console we have printed hello and yeah this hello is coming so this is a one way of creating a common library and using it in your actual project so we have used it as a plugin and if you don't want to use it as a plugin uh, there is another option also you can directly go over here click on this export part and click next give the location So there is a, another way of also doing this complete process. What you can do, you can just export this project as a jar and then just right click on your project, go to the mule, click on this add Maven dependency and here install a local dependency, click on this and click on the jar file that you have. So you can browse it and then pick that jar and click on this install. So that dependency will be added in your form. This is all about uh, how we can create the common library and how we can use it in our mule project thanks thanks for watching this video